Snakes. The very sight of a snake has different effects on people in different cultures around the world. Whether their effect on you is psychological or spiritual, it is no doubt that snakes are colorful and beautiful, yet can inflict a very serious and deadly bite. In Greek mythology, Medusa, the snaky-haired monster of myth and also Adam and Eve, were depicted as having epic associations with snakes. Yet the image wasn't always negative. Our military, corporate, and health organizations use snakes as symbols of power and courage. Regardless of their place in history, to most people, a snake is a dangerous creature. Yet some cultures still adore snakes and even worship them. In Hindu religion, Siva, a Hindu god, is depicted with snakes around its neck while its followers subject their young to the playful bite of a king cobra. If the child lives, it is thought to be immortal. But widespread fear remains. From religious and historical significance to movies to your backyard, snakes are everywhere around us. Of the 2,700 snake species in the world, 250 species in the U.S. only one product, Snake Out, modifies snakes' behavior and keeps them away from your home. In the United States, each year, there are approximately 45,000 snake bite victims, about 8,000 of those being venomous snake bites. Between 10 to 15 people die each year of snake bites in the U.S. Of the nine most common phobias, bugs, mice, snakes, and bats outnumber all other phobias combined. Inspection for snakes is always the first step. If the snake is inside, there's a reason. It's looking for food, water, it may be too hot, too cold, or too dry outdoors. Food is the most important. Inspect for signs of rodents. The snake may be following food into the structure. Inspect for entry points into the structure, holes in foundations, missing vents, etc. If the snake is outside in the yard, it could be just passing through. What shape are the grounds in? Look for excessive vegetation and harborage. Look at surrounding areas and neighbor's yards. Look for any area where a snake could live or hide. Outside sanitation is very important in snake control. Clean up the yard area. Remove high weeds. Move wood piles up off the ground. Trim scrubs away from foundations. Remove any unnecessary debris from the yard that may provide additional harborage for snakes. In the treatment for snakes, exclusion is the most important part of snake control. Seal holes in foundations, caulk cracks, repair or replace broken vent plates, repair doors, flashing in crawl space or basement doors, repair or seal any location where it appears a snake can enter the structure. Then remove water and food sources. Repair any water leaks in the crawl space or around the foundation. Eliminate any rodent populations in or around the structure. Remember, about the only thing a snake will eat is a rat, a mouse, or a rodent. If you have a rodent population, that's why you have snakes. When applying snake out, apply a barrier of snake out at least a foot wide on the inside of crawl space foundation walls and into any cracks, holes, and any entry points into the structure. Snake out can also be applied using a hand duster or power duster onto sill plates above foundations and crawl spaces and basements. Snake out can also be applied under covered porches, outbuildings, and sheds where snakes may harbor. Snake out is a natural product and may be placed outside around structures, but must be reapplied every two weeks or after heavy rain as needed. Snake out works by contact with the snake. The sense of smell in snakes has been enhanced in an amazing way. While in most animals particles from the air are filtered and sifted through via the nose, snakes and lizards have redirected it some. Now instead of just using their nose, these animals use their tongues as well. The Jacobson's organ is a special organ inside the mouth on the palate. When a lizard or a snake wants to smell its surroundings, it will flick its tongue out and gather the particles in the air. The tongue then returns to the mouth and the tips of the tongue are pushed up against the roof of the mouth where they must enter two pits in the roof. Since these pits are split apart from each other, the tongue itself also has to split. This is why snakes have forked tongues. The snake's acute odor perception allows it to attract both prey and mates. In Genesis 3.14, God's curse on the serpent included that it would eat dust all its life. Many snakes literally do eat dust. When properly applied, snake out's natural ingredients act as a weapon to disrupt the snake's sensory organs, making it difficult for the snake to find food or mates. In this way, snake out doesn't kill or repel snakes. 
It just makes him want to go somewhere else to find food. Snake out. It's a green solution to snakes. For more information, visit epestsupply.com.